Oh, G gonna be starting on the CT side with Navi on the T side. And already Electronic running for the corner. It's a Glock and not a P250. He's just walking out is so bold. That is actually pretty bold. Man, this is what he was doing all of last map. He's just walking everywhere. He's so confident, but that's a flash in his face. Oh, he finds the headshot already. He's looking for it. Gets both. Electronic set up for it with the flash from Bit, but either way, he hits a blind shot and still is able to convert it all, leaving Alexi B on the site by himself, but Boomich just instantly removes him from this round. <laughs> How did they know? It looked like they knew. Okay, sneak out long. Wait like three seconds, and then that's when they're going to be crossing into the pit, and that's when we just flash. flash. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, and the kit was dropped up there. They were shooting at it just for celebrating already. They haven't taken any damage at all. Not a point. Not a single point. All right. Just as we say. Okay. Nico ruins the party a little bit there. That's, uh, I mean, again, it's just a pistol round. Yeah, it's a it's a funny look for him. It is. It's it's just the, the man that doesn't feel morale. Yeah, he's immune. But maybe if it works both ways, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you, no matter how badly they may be doing it, like, whatever. That's yeah, fine. Cool, calm, and collected. Boomich, though, quickly up catwalk, taking the space away from Na'Vi. And they already threw a lurk smoke for short there, so it seems. Is really trying to sell this one, but the rest of his team is going for a mid to B. But look at that OG, oh, they bit on the bait that was Boomich. And Boomich just going through the smoke there while his entire team is making their way towards Valde, who has a lot of work to do in a very short span of time. And that's that. <laughs> he really wanted for someone to come to the smoke first, but. And actually, look, they, they double checked if there was a second player inside of the smoke, but they didn't even put the bomb down before they were sure. So yeah, you're right. Boomich selling it up on the catwalk. He initially, when the smoke was up, he just shot the entire horizon with a Mac 10. I don't know if you noticed, but he just sprayed the entire bomb site. Like you know, so, again, I don't know how much that's really selling it, but it worked. Um, OG, uh, I don't even. It's still around where they have pistols. Could you even blame them for rotating a little bit quickly? What else are they meant to do, really? Right, right, and that's why it seemed. Somewhat, somewhat perfunctory for uh, Boomich to just just do that. He just says, I know you will rotate if I do this. Yeah. And whether that's preparation for Navi or Boomich just kind of feeling himself a little bit, either way, it draws OG out. Um, you can think about it for a little bit if you want. You don't have to answer straight away. I would probably move away from uh, any kind of deterministic feelings right, right now. You just think that your fate is sealed. Before. No determinism, no nihilism. No, none of that, none of that. You need to... <laughs> Be looking on the bright side, which surprisingly not not too many. There's a couple philosophers that were, you know, looking very optimistic, but <laughs> I think the vast majority were were more so what people just say simply is negative. So yeah. probably the people who get to the point in life where they spend their time thinking about life typically <laughs> aren't doing it because they're so excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not usually from a point of uh, elation. I'll no. say that. <laughs> I'm just enjoying life so much right now, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> I'm really just going to think about it. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, OG, maybe they are future philosophers in the making, right? <laughs> They're getting mm -hmm. to experience <laughs> some of that. Third round, and it's Flames and Nico at the corner. Actually, a pretty decent setup. Nico going to get one kill there. That could have definitely been more. Nade right on oh, top of man. him. It's going to blow him up. Um, he wanted to stick around. Simple, ready for the flank as well. And it's Mantua and Alexi left. At least they're somewhat close to where the hit will be commencing, but with just a P250 and a very damaged scout, it doesn't look all too likely for OG here. And yeah, I think I think OG need to re reach Zen. You know, they need to live completely in the moment and uh, embrace, in fact, the the pain that's coming their way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. More more easily said than done. 16 seconds on the clock. Even if he gets this jump shot, it shouldn't actually finish the round. Ooh, there's one. They did cancel it. He's going to get the kill on simple. Nine seconds. Whoa. He has to do it again. He just wow. has to. Ooh, the bomb is going to be planted. If he would have got that, I think they actually maybe could have done it. They're, oh, wow. They would have had to cross after that, but now it becomes instantly so much more difficult. And if Perfecto simply sticks his head up, this will be a free kill. Electronic will uh, beat him to the punch, though. He's just going for the swing. So there we go. Yeah, this this could... Uh, this is looking like a very interesting round, actually, already. Oh, double towards middle. 
Navi looking for a B play early on. Alexi B catches Boomich. But this smoke has stopped Navi. And now the rotation from OG can come in. We might see Nico go help out Valde on this site. But as it stands, Valde is on a bit of an island. Yes, he is. I actually thought maybe the fact that Boomich died like that, he would have guessed that it was a boost and just known that two people were in middle so that they would have just exploded through the smoke. They're going to come for Wilder anyway, and he is in so much trouble trying to flash himself out of it. It's a good wow. flashbang as well, helped out by the middle, and that's going to be a couple of kills going his way. Back up is eventually going to go down, and Nico fell in the middle, and now it's a two on three with Simple on his own with a Krieg and a one versus three. Still got a minute left, and he's walking onto the site, not really scared of crossing not really scared of showing himself and they are positioning themselves like they want to stay really far away from simple though gonna fake the bomb a single time no one is biting just yet and yeah they're gonna box him all the way in you have to assume that if he can even get the bomb plant here that would be kind of impressive he's waiting for it they are right at the edge now the smoke is fading and, and thinking about even his past position on this map he was he was playing long in the kind of previous iteration for og and he still delivered, and oh, look at that. OG, oh, find two here. And that'll set themselves up nicely. There may be a chance for OG to convert this one now pretty cleanly. Finally a good start. Just, I really think they must have, maybe not a sigh of relief just yet, it's a bit early, but they haven't really tried to play the game so far against Navi in this fashion. Alexi gonna be catching Boomich. Electronic and simple left. It is one of the most enjoyable duos in the game, in my opinion. But um, two versus five is still pretty tough to try and, and get anything done with. Val is sneaking out all the way into T-spawn, by the way. He's on a mission. If the timing allows, he could stab him in the back, but Simple and Electronic are moving too quick for that to be a possibility. Oh, oh this oh, is it. Oh, Montu miss. Now Simple has taken the aggressive position, and he might just keep on creeping forward. There's a chance that he'll be presented another duel and this would be very favorable for Montu. He should be able to see Simple's feet if he is crouched at this position. Yeah, that's a good point. Ha difficult to move out of there. 40 seconds, backing up, but actually Montu just fell back. Vald is now moving forward once again. And Montu and Flames over by the A bomb site. 30 seconds on the clock for Navi. How do they do this? A little bit of a grenade to set it up. Simple's walking in. He's actually right on top. Wow. Flames is on the other side, but he's going to get the kill. Simple almost getting shot in the back, and he can't get the flick in time. Electronic now. One versus three with 13, well, 15 seconds on the clock, and he's going to try for it. But Valder, worse than waiting for Godot. Yeah. It's obscure. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man two goes down. Simple with the scout in hand and a headshot. Now it's a four on five. But, I mean, OGR... They're doing something right on this map. So this is a completely different feel from on Overpass, which is great. Yeah. First victory felt like a, a great anchor performance from Valde. This one was more of a team win, where they just had a nice long hold and were able to convert on top of that, taking the right amount of risk in the mid-round. But Navi have a man advantage here, and the defense for OG is spread quite thin. If Navi go for the cat play, this is not going to be very easy for Flames to hold because he doesn't know if anybody is coming out long and he has to juggle a couple of positions. So Alexi B is going to try to alleviate that pressure by going for an, a mid push. This could get caught out, but we see that the tunnel players are moving on forward too. Oh, yeah. This is something that's so cool. And this is, I mean, even this, it's a different map, but it represents a kind of a, a CT side information that, once again, OG never had on overpass. Now they know what's coming. Nice nade, that blows wow. them up. That's one nade that almost kills three people. A headshot on Simple. Electronic has the AWP in play, but he's got nowhere to stand with it. He's just isolated. Try and get a kill there. Pulls out the pistol. It is a near flawless round for OG as they tie up the scoreline three to three. Funny though, not with the AWP. Oh. Fair play. That won't happen in the future. No, it won't. So this oh wait. Oh. He legged Nico as well inside of the smoke. Wow. Come on. He's getting the most out of this last version of Dust 2. <laughs> like, I'm gonna milk this. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna miss it when they change that visibility right there. But either way, in the moment, Navi are quite happy about that. So much damage inflicted. I'm not sure if he's aware of the fact that he legged that player, but knowing Simple, he might have actually seen something, despite the fact the guy's behind the smoke completely. He just knows. He is. 
He does. He, he senses it. All right. What did they, should they make a play here to recover this four on five OG? Is it worth it to try and go for like a double peek somewhere and take a fight to them? It looks like they were considering going for some cat space, but they back off of that. Uh, if they if they don't, they're in a very particular situation that I would not envy whatsoever. Navi just going to be slow, taking long, and OG may be able to secure Cat at this moment in time. In fact, there is no contest there whatsoever, but it's taking so long that Flames is finding himself on elbow. He's in between helping Alexi towards Cat yeah. and not, but he will stand and fight here towards the lower area of all day. Be able to find something with this boost. They have to, but no, Perfecto calls it out, and Electronic will be able to take down Alexi B. That really removes any chance of a possible retake now from OG. It really, it looked for a minute like they either want to do what you were saying, like just maybe play catwalk and, and hold on to that, and then retake the A-bomb, maybe some of that, and then halfway through doing that, they changed their mind, and they were like, oh, wait, no, no, let the flames was back there, and they just got awkwardly caught in the middle of all of that. It's very indecisive, it looked like, for, uh, for OG. I think it might have been because there was a molly on catwalk. Uh, I'm, I know there was one. Yeah. I don't, I, whether OG threw that or Navi even threw it as they were coming up from long made that a lot more difficult for OG to manage. And they just got caught in an awkward position. Uh, yeah, well, they are the, uh, the new one, which I'm kind of happy about, actually. Uh, Boomich is making his way out long, tries for a spray and does some damage to Valda, but it's kind of for free. He's happy about it. Just uh, going to be falling back. Three people on long for OG. And this time it's not Valda anchoring the B bomb side, it's Nico instead. I wonder why that. Oh, it's maybe the ore? Is that enough to put him alone in B? The AUG does allow a couple of positions that otherwise aren't so effective. We got the run boost coming out. Montu was not aware that was coming his way. Boomich, though, just sending it off of Catwalk, scaling up elbows so quickly. That is an excellent nade to slow him down, make this an awkward fight for him, but he just keeps on pressing forward. Will he catch OG off? No. Flames meets him, and now Electronic feels it's his time to activate, but OG are in a great setup right now. They're able to catch all of these aggressive maneuvers from Na'Vi, and this is looking like a very good round from them. I'm actually kind of impressed that they managed to do that. It's very hard to read when people, when, when Boomich runs like that. If he's that quick in there, you can easily misjudge it. But I, I think he had the footsteps at the end and Flames just spun to get the kill. But um, I actually think if, if you replay that a couple of more times, not a lot has to go wrong and, and suddenly He's got the look, not just maybe on Flames, but even maybe on, on Valda down in the pit, right? That could be a, a near double kill for him. Alexi even catching them as they're trying to get towards the B bomb site. Now we just feel very trapped in this moment. Eighth round, and it's OG looking to equalize. Zip goes back, can't quite get that shot. They're moving closer, and he's gonna go down. No one, speaking of which, Bit is got on zero kill still. He was top fragging on overpass, so maybe that's gonna help out. Nico taking a bit of damage out long. Again, similar players to last time. Now let's just see. If they lose this round, Navi, they're not really going to have any cash to work with. So, could be, could be a time for OG not just to match Navi, but actually take over the game just a bit. If they win the round, that is. Yes. And this is what happens when Navi's fast play gets called out. They have to go for the more standard cat control with the hinge smoke, getting everybody up there with the standard utility. This is probably the most cookie cutter round Navi have played thus far. And it means that OG are presented a situation that they should feel slightly more comfortable in. This needs a bit very low, looking for the first kill still of the map for himself. And spending a bit of time here, Navi, in the middle. You could see Perfecto is expecting for some sort of push to happen. That's been happening earlier, so it's not completely out of the blue. Alexi waiting for the smoke to fade, but this is dangerous. Double set up behind, and there's the opening for Bit. Finally a kill on the board. Now Valder, you said on an island earlier, but he's running out of uh, survival gear out here as well. Perfecto does go down, but Simple will pick up the kill. And Nico falls in the meantime, and they can't even go for it. They just have to ignore this take of the V-bomb side. Wait, he almost Ooh. just died of the fire. The one more tick actually would have done it. So, so that that was that was a little worrying, but either way, Navi have it. Great mid to be from them. The double phasing of the mid smoke is something that is can uh, just have a lot of mileage. 
Well, maybe they have another one in them still. Simple this time out on long. He's going to just fire the gun blind. But otherwise, this is a pretty standard type beginning for, uh, for Navi. Nothing out of the ordinary. There is a boost, though, which is kind of cool. Perfecto, obviously seen as many times before, but there's no one at top mid that can currently set up a flash or anything for him. So it's kind of, uh, at least for the minute, it's probably good that he's not turning that corner. Right, just holding it. Oh, they're down in pit, actually. They get down there without you really giving up anything for it. That's interesting. Yeah, this is a lot of control for Navi now. And it will likely force the hand of OG just slightly. You can see that Alexi B is pushing off of Catwalk at the moment. They might want to stop it right here. They, Alexi B looks like he's welcoming a challenge at Catwalk, knowing that that smoke indicates that Navi should be going for Cat. But he's forced off of the angle. Navi are creating a lot of pressure on that side of the map while they are slowly scaling up long. This is so sneaky from Navi, and Simple is able to take down flames because of it. And that is a deep angle into the A bomb site. It's, he's not down in pit, he's all the way up on the plateau next to it. Very hard to read. Mantle flash that they jump. He does like Gumich, but there's already a second player by. Good flick there to take down Electronic. They need a lot more out of that from Mantu. 28 seconds, and the bomb is on the bomb site. Perfecto is holding the middle. If this bomb goes down, the retake, where is it going to happen from? Valde is still in the B bomb site. He needs to move if they want to even get close. They look like they don't. That's it. Wow. That is it. Perfecto making his way down. Could catch the op on Cap, but he's not aware of that position. But after taking down Nico, he's considering it. Montu's just holding the line, though. And I think Montu should be good for this one. Oh, it's oh. dangerous. Oh, wow. it's perfecto. Okay. He picks it up anyway. That is brutal. I actually thought Mantu would come back to try more shots. I mean, I'm not saying that he had to, but they gave up on that round a bit sooner than I was expecting. Maybe because it's the A bomb side, I was thinking. Usually people try and go for it. That's six rounds for now. Pushes when they fight for long control. Those have been those have been working out for them. And they might try to find some sort of way to replicate that with a heavy mid stack. We can see that there's two B or one B and three middle. And Navi are going to run right into it. Yeah. And even if it's just mostly pistols, it still could be enough. Eagle. Also on the bomb site, there's the USP, in fact, doing the work. He's looking for a headshot, if he can get it, but not quite. And the rest are showing up, charging through the smoke. Alexi gets a kill. It is a two-on-two. -two. And Flames is up at the window with a C set. 75, trying to find a headshot. He's done a lot of damage. The bomb not planted yet. They jump through, and Simple's going to be going down. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. He's a bullet away from Death Flames here, and he's going to be found. As that they did so much damage there, it sets them up to potentially make a comeback in this half. Man to missed opportunity again. They are outside of this B bomb site. If they find the opportunity, a kill or a good grenade, that just might be it. Mantu already forced back. They're going to be running out. They're right behind him. I don't think they realize yet. Mantu goes down. Boomich, he had one mission. He just had to assassinate that player coming out of the B bomb site. It worked, and they're instantly saving. He just he gave it all. That's that's only one kill on the scoreboard, but it's so much more. His last dying breath was that I did what I came to do. <laughs> Smile on his face, <laughs> getting shot in the back. Yes, yes. <laughs> quite quite cinematic right there. <laughs> that, is, uh, that, that is a great play, though, from Navi. To once again go for the all-in B play. I'm sure that caught OG off guard a little bit. The fact that they only had two players there, didn't really have a strong CT player who could go for the quick rotation. And this is, again, when Navi are really scary. When, when OG was, were able to catch the fast plays from Navi, it, it did send Navi into a kind of a slower route after that. They began defaulting yeah. many of the rounds. OG had a chance to put those ones together, but... One of those plays? Yeah, but just a bit and simple and electronic. You're not lacking firepower. It's fine, you know? Nico, right in the middle. They don't know, and he tries to continue the spray. That's a play for him, and a good kill on Boomage. But they're still in the B-bomb side. Valder is the only one here with a Deagle. He does get the kill. Alexi with one shot on Electronic, a headshot straight away. And he's looking for it here. This is a two on five that OG just seemed destined to win. They must win it. And I think Valder just absolutely cemented it. Navi triple dipping here. This is the third <laughs> round now that they wanted to go for a very heavy early B play. And OG get the better of them because of it. OG are probably thinking to themselves, why, why must they test me like this? Falde, who's been one of the most consistent players on the team. It's, uh, it's been a point 
that the, the desk brought up. Jason said he is one of the most underrated in... Unless, unless you've just already licked it off. And then you're, that's... Uh, that's a party foul. unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something where if anybody sees you, you're not getting invited to that next party. It's out. You're, the, you're done. Yeah. That's what Navi tried to do. Exactly. I like it. Not enough surface area to go for a triple dip. No. Ge geometrically, not possible. <laughs> just, yeah. It, it, it would defy some, uh, some laws of the universe. On, if someone has a technique to do the triple dip in a responsible way, I would love to know. I think you need really small bites. Is the thing. If you have a triangular chip, you can take very small bites from each side and then triple dip. But people will look at you very curiously because you're not getting enough dip to make those bites even worthwhile. Yeah, it does feel no. greedy. I, it's a curious, why have Doritos never marketed themselves that way? As That's the triple dip chip. Exactly. There, there it is. It's, it actually rolls off the tongue rather well. We're going to send them an invoice after this game is done. 14th round is coming up. It's 9 to 5 in favor of Na'Vi. They have the AKs. They really, once again, don't have a lot of money. If OG win this round, they could probably get... They could finish 8-7, and that's super acceptable. So a lot is riding on this. They're setting up this smoke for the catwalk, which could either be an actual play for the A-bomb side, or it could, it could be a fake. But it doesn't look like it, does it? it looks like it's the standard exec. They even have an elbow smoke. Nico, though, right through the smoke. Takes down Perfecto. That is a great entry, but simple with the response. A nice shot on Aniko. Leaves simply Montu here at Goose. He needs to come up big. Gets bit. Flames there with the crossfire. And OG are dealing with this cat play so well. Simple still remains, though, and anything's possible when he's alive. But finally, he's taken down. Jumped on by Alexi B. Quite literally. Good shot from Electronic. Seven seconds left. He cannot win the round. They just have to stay away, and they will. So an eight to six scoreline here. I think that's uh... just staying alive there long enough for flames to get activated from long was was really big. And sometimes the simplest thing is uh, just sitting in goose, getting one kill, staying alive for the crossfire to work. And he's still just doing what his team needs him to. Couple of AKs, one scout, couple of deagles on the side of Navi for the 15th round, last one of the half. If they can find a way to steal it, I feel like that would be so heartbreaking for OG. Eight to seven, though. I mean, are you are you all right with that scoreline for OG? You you gotta be. Well, they did pick this side though, but right. sometimes people, even though they they pick CT on Dust Two, there's there's a lot of theory behind it. We could maybe get into it at another point, but lay it all out. It should it should be okay. It should be okay if you get seven. All right. It's with Alexi B's calling, I think I think you can muster up a half that can challenge Navi. Okay, well, that's all. That's what we get right now. I don't know if it's all we need. I like the double orb and the double org on the other side. A lot of scopes to play with, obviously. Could be interesting. Now we're down to 45 seconds. They are also... They have one flashbang left on bit. That, that's, that's not a lot to set anything up with here on the T side. They're out in the middle, though. Nico, very comfortable position inside of the doors in B with an org in hand. 30 seconds now. They're kind of pushing weirdly all over the place. This is a two-man push with Electronic in middle and Perfecto out long. I feel like if one of them die here, then there's not going to be any round left, and they're just kind of falling apart. Electronic and Perfecto with a couple of good kills, but there's only 15 seconds. They cannot get there. They're not Again, even going for it. No, they're, they're not even doing that. They're just they're just holding, and uh, that, that's it. It's going to be a seventh round for OG right here. Perfecto is looking for a kill, but Mont... With Alexi B's calling, any T side is possible when he really does hit that flow state. Right. Just ultimate zen mode. And today, we did not see that on overpass. But Dust2, it's a slightly simpler map. You don't have to really go deep in your bag to find the answer. Sometimes it's as easy as calling the cat play once you know that there's three on the B side. So we'll see if Alexi B and OG are able to find a better read because they were so devoid of information on the last map. If they get any more even a shred, the world is their oyster. They can actually build something. And Alexei has been playing really well in terms of the frags, so right, if the calling follows, we're going to see something cool out of OG here. Simple, trying to fall back just a bit. Playing with no silencer on his USP like a heretic. It's a statement. Yeah? I don't know about what. I don't even want to know. Electronic looking for it here. He's already got the one headshot, but Nico will take him down. Simple running up. Yeah, he wants to be heard, but still he's going to go down. He hit none of those shots. No one's ever going to unscrew that silencer ever again. That was dreadful. Now it's a two on two. Bomb is planted. Mantu is down on long, and the bomb is technically planted for him. 
but he does only have a Glock as well. So falling really far back could also be dangerous. And he wants to be there to help out Nico. Bit of a setup there with a the grenade. He goes down. Mantu, good on him for sticking around. And now it's on. Bit one headshot. Oh, and he tries. But he has to reload. No kit in his hand either. And now playing for time is Nico. And he should be. Don't go for the fight. A little bit of style maybe costs you. It's a little function, form over function. Exactly. I, I don't know. It sounds different. Could that confuse anyone ever? No. no. What is that? No, I don't think Makes you more of a target. I'm reaching. I'm really yeah. <laughs> Maybe the bait setup. <laughs> yeah. But either way, OG really would like to convert this one. Still dangerous waters lie ahead of them as they have what looks to be a mid to B play shaping up at the moment. Now Bit with the blaze looking for some damage. There are a lot of players that are going to be greeting him in just a moment. Yeah, around the corner, presumably, that Mac-10 is going to be jumping. So, very hard to do anything about. Scout is here. That actually slows them down. I don't know. That's a lot of damage on three other players there. Doesn't change the fact that there's no one else on the B-bomb site. So, in spite of all of that, OG will be, will be fine. What a moment of, of slight panic there. So 9 to 8 going to be the scoreline. Navi will save the guns. Could very likely be 10, 10 8 here. That's a that's a kind of a luxurious position that OG just haven't been in so far in this best of three. At 10 8, they don't have. It's kind of a good a good beginning into the second half. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but they're not far off of doing it. What kind of what kind of T side or CT side do you think we'll see out of Navi in terms of? in terms of go of looking for the kills. We saw OG a little bit pushing into upper dark at times. I mean, they were trying a couple of different things, but they weren't super aggressive. Do you think Navi will be more or less aggressive on their CT side? Navi can change it up so drastically that one... <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I think I would, I would break my keyboard in half That's... if that happened to me. Actually, I would love to see that replay from the from the from Valda's point of view. Yeah, being the car player, you're like, what? <laughs> what yeah. am I meant to do about this? <laughs> Actually, Valda's taking that out on them in this round. He's like, you know what? <laughs> I want revenge, and he's at least got two of them out long. Fair play. What a stupid kill. <laughs> I want more of that. Just yeah. jumping backwards, <laughs> headshots. Yeah. People have already made jumping with a couple of guns in this game looks look a little too good. But if we start getting backwards jumping USPs, then who knows where Counter-Strike will be in a couple of years. Assuredly, the the future of those kills will be dualies. Oh, yeah, that, that's... Could, prepare like yourselves, everybody. Like jumping into CT spawn from, the, from Catwalk, shooting them while you're falling down. If only you could go prone mid-air, you could, like, you could do one of those, like, movies. The dolphin things. jumps. Exactly. Oh, like, in Battlefield is what I was thinking. But. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, like, Max Payne. To, I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's a bit old, but still. Some Rambo, kind of a Eight John Wick sort of thing. Yeah, yes. you need the bullet time, slow motion, and mm -hmm. then we're good to go. Yeah. Directed by John Woo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Okay, they're going to be saving the guns on the other side now. We know that there's that much to save, but fair play. It's 10 to 8. OG fans. I'm saying fans. Stream one at that. Okay. We'll have to hear Londa's comments on that later, but I could see it happening. Nice shot down the middle. Bit takes uh, some damage. Boomage, very exposed, and he looked like he even knew, and he was like, I'm doing it anyway. I'm just going to take the fight. That's one of those moments where Boomage just throws caution to the wind, and a lot of people are left scratching their heads, but the fact that he found a kill there, was able to find anything, for that matter, is really impressive and a testament to the skill that he possesses, but so frequently is overshadowed by the other players on his team. Yeah, that is, I, mean, I don't know, I don't know how you would, you'd, you'd, become the star in this particular lineup. That's not possible, is it? Ooh, they give up every part of the map. And actually, look at how aggressive wow. Navi are being and finding... If they if they have another five seconds here, Navi, they could discover what's going on, but they've actually walked past each other. Oh. What a rare sight. Wow, th this flank could be everything. Will there be anybody from OG expecting a flank this quickly? It seems unlikely, as they're still looking to secure the bomb site, and they just can't even believe that there's nobody here. Montu had a chance to find a shot there, but Bit's already on the flank. This retake is on, and there are players surrounding the B site already. Simple is really far away from the action, so I don't know if they want to wait for him necessarily. 
They're going to try and creep closer. It is technically a three-on-three three isolated for a really long time. What an angle being found by Perfecto. He keeps charging through it. He'll take every single kill on his own. That is... That's a perfect We're shot in the back. Oh, yeah. That's so rough. Nine to ten. Oh, gee. Just a single round lead. But um, they have some money even now, actually. That's... That's incredible news, OG, in terms of not being immediately reset. Ooh. Looks like they... There's a desired tech pause. There... Stop! People are yelling in the chat. Yes, yeah, people uh, are looking for a reset here. See if they will be allowed or not. Yeah, there was actually a little bit of molly damage. I'm not sure if that... Happened before or after? I didn't know. Right, that. yeah. I'm not... Someone will check. I'm Someone sure. will be sure. Oh, oh it might be live. Oh, okay. Hopefully the tech call is nothing too serious and they can they can recover everything. But um yeah, in the meantime, they're making their way down the middle here on the OG side. Bit is alone on the other side of the middle. And Perfecto is inside of the B bomb site. Kind of uh kind of just holding that position. Pretty standard setup right now for Navi, but now no one's holding middle. Yeah, it looks like OG are going for the four-man cat play. Single lurk in Valde towards Long will be instrumental in making this a tough hold for Navi. Because Navi are so good at dealing with these vanilla executes. And Electronic already has a mega position. This is so strong. If he goes unchecked, he is good for a lot. But Flames won't let Electronic get the better of him. Great trade from Alexi B, and now it's all on to Boomage to secure long. Valde is biding his time, though. Knowing that his team doesn't even need him yet, given that they've secured the site, he does. He has no reason to push on forward, and he can wait for Boomage. And he does just that. Though it takes a lot of damage, Boomage has fought his way out of this, but it looks like it's just to lead to a save. Yeah, fair, I mean, fair play to, for Boomage to, to actually win that fight. But what you were saying is, is, I mean, that's where you would want a player like Valder to play. Because, he, he, you know, you say, if his team needed him, he would have had to start make a, to make a move. But if he makes the move early just to look for the kill, and he dies, suddenly it's a bit awkward, right? It's a four on three, potentially, uh, or three on three, maybe. But still, they are, um, they maybe could have gone for a retake. So another round for... Just, just my brain is still intact. That's good news. All right. So, I mean, fair play. They, I guess, because... The admins have figured it out. It's fine. We'll take that word for it. Twentieth round. Yeah, this is a this is a replay confirmed. Great. Confirmed. Well, let's see if OG can do it uh, even without the uh, the tank issue. I'm guessing someone from Navi had something going on. This round, Perfecto and Simple have both taken a bit of damage, and default spread coming up from OG, looking everywhere. That could have been. Could have been. Okay, Montu spotted out bit. Looks for the challenge, but shies away after facing some utility there. So an opportunity there. A little bit of a test from OG. They are almost in control of Catwalk, but Simple is on the elbow looking to challenge this angle once they do decide to approach. And you know that that is the scariest prospect for OG. Swing comes out, Nade goes in and, oh, he doesn't find a kill, but look at the damage that Simple got with that Nade. That is impressive stuff. Will make things so much easier for his riflers. Yeah, they really took that straight on. Nico is holding up a dark in case anything happens. Simple is challenging, wow. but Flames, he did it in the last round. That was the replay, taking uh, one player down for the box. But this time, it's a straight-up fight against Simple. And he's going to be charging in. He will eventually go down to Electronic. But more people are coming. Nice shot. Straight headshot to take down Alexi B. That is lightning fast. Now, Nico's on the flank. Can he get the kill in time? I think he's been spotted. But only 13 seconds on the clock. They have to move. They would have loved for that kill to come in from Nico to open up this bomb site. Maybe draw someone back. That's not happening any longer. And Valder on his own. And he's going to lose the round absolutely no matter what. The time is going to be running out. And they're going to hit. Um, I would love to see a replay of that round if... If, uh, if Nico actually gets the kill and B, if it does anything at all, if they start to move out, I'm not sure 100%, but it just would have been fun to see. Out the middle they go, Tech Nine's leading the charge. Electronic is here to help his teammate, who's oh. otherwise very flashed, and they get both the kills. Great transfer from Electronic. Not a great situation for OG, though. No. Not at all. 
It's a three on five, and now we are about to take the round lead. The economy is also, I don't know, a little bit in between for OG. They have a couple of players that have some money to work with, but the rest really don't. And let's just see. A kill on a bomb plant here would be super helpful to OG. Yes. Oh, but Bit spotted him out. That's an excellent flash to set him up. He's not going for the swing, though, and this is a... Slightly funky, but either way, it's a nice crossfire between him and Perfecto, and it is working wonders. But no, Nico's ones, uh, I, lo I love that. I love the little tricks like that, truthfully. I, high risk, yes. high reward, potentially. Yes. It's People have been throwing some remixes on it, smokes in different spots, even not even always throwing the drop smoke in general, so that yeah. they can uh, just instantly fly down, find something. It's fun to watch, because it's a, a high-flying play, and when I think of that play, I think of... The beginning of CSGO and, and Shock's doing it. He Shocks, was yeah. he was quite good at it. Uh, I know Yanko's MIBR wanted to do it a fair bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's cool to see. That seems like the kind of play you'd want a Brazilian team to do, you know? Yeah. Just fits that style. Just something that's a little bit of a remix there. Bit, though, with the op, just swings out after the, the run boost, takes down Flames, and Flames has been so hot on these entries, that is going to relieve a lot of pressure for Navi's A defense. Yeah, he is straight down. Didn't even get any useful information, really. I mean, the fact that their bit has the AWP probably means they can guess it's a double AWP setup. I don't know what that really does for them here. 45 seconds on the clock. They're gonna try and go at it. Boomich, Simple, and Bit are all there at the bomb site and could do a fair bit. Simple just has to take a couple of steps back and he'll be in position to shoot someone. Oh, flashes are just they're everywhere. Boomish, though, is burning alive and he's eventually gonna be found. 30 seconds on the clock and Simple waiting nearby just to see if he could spot anyone out. Bomb not quite there yet. It's finally gonna be put down. But Simple, does he want to risk it? How much does he actually believe in this? He could go for the jump, but it's super risky. He's almost getting shot. In fact, oh, I can't believe it. He turns around and Electronic is there for the shot on Alexi. And this CT side, the retake is looking so good right now. Mantu has to take a run. It looked like it was really awkward, and then it just all clicks into play. That is that is unbelievable. The fact that it was going for the retake, but one kill, and then the rest just followed instantly. Probably Simple should have died in that moment, but it's Simple. Yeah, just somehow makes those micro stutters, those little movements. It, everything he does just seems to have purpose in terms of his mechanics. Maybe could fall all day, but at the same time, Navi are in a very solid position. This is one of those rounds that can really determine the game because OG have no bank to speak of if they lose this one. Yeah, pivotal moment in the second map. Would love to see a third map. Love to try and get onto Mirage if we if we could. But um, for the minute, it's looking more and more likely that Navi will walk away with this one. Although I've got to say, OG, in terms of recovering from the first map, they're getting way more kills. They look way more competitive on this map. They are playing the best team in the world, so it's it's going to be tricky no matter what. Bit trying to do the exact same thing as last time, and just get his hand caught in the cookie jar here. Now they're pushing on Boomich. Last time the Molotov killed him. This time Nico will. Good shot. And now it's simple missing a shot and probably don't challenge him. Probably leave him alone down here. Or just he gets caught on the wall and dies. But I was going to say just anytime I see people running after simple it makes me nervous. That uh, there are some people that are having flashbacks of what he has done to them. Yeah. I think Liquid can uh, attest to that. But OG are able to make a cat play work, and it's off the back of, yeah, Bit going for the, the same exact hold once again, peeking after the run boost or the flash. Either way, it does leave Navi hamstrung in terms of their A defense there, and the final remaining players, Boomich and Simple, they're not... He's overtaking even Simple. Who's now going to be quick, doubling, tripling down, taking over Bit at the catwalk and pushing all the way through. Ignoring the flashbangs, he knew where that was coming from, so he knows they're going to be up on the box immediately. Going to put down a little bit of an aid, and it lands right on top. Great. Simple's utility damage has been excellent on the CT side thus far. But once again, OG will be looking for the same cat control. Bit went for the same angle last time. This time around, it's simple. So we'll see if that changes the outcome of the situation. 
See that Alexi and Flames want this space. The flash is there. Simple. He bides his time. He's waiting for this. And he's just going to see the smoke. Oh, Flames calls him out. As soon as the smoke pops, Flames takes his head with it. And now Boomage and Electronic are in such a dire position. Boomage is blocked away from the smoke. OG are getting control of the A site. And Navi, they have no business in this round anymore. Yeah, Electronic, I mean, that's just Flames. He just opened, he just won the round with those two kills. Incredible stuff. And Simples, he was waiting for such a long time when that smoke was going down. It was just almost popping. Maybe he could have beat the timing, but Flames was a little bit too quick. Nice double kill for him. And we're back to 12-12. It's all tied up. Navi's economy actually is looking worse than I was expecting. They've just won, well, they won four in a row, and OG won the last round. They're about to win this round, and already Navi's money is kind of a little bit pressured. So saving these three rifles is super important. Definitely. And they will. Yeah. OG not looking for the hunt whatsoever. Man two. Looking down middle with the AWP. Both uh, Perfecto and Bit down there. A little bit of a late cross. If that had been a fast B play, that, that kind of delay in middle would be pretty deadly. Although we don't see a lot of that, but still. Worth maybe pointing out. MP9 on Boomit. That's that's where his home is, I think. Get some jumping MP9 action in here. He, he's better with it. I think so. At this point in time, he, he is better with the MP9 than a rifle. He's, the mobility actually does allow him to find a lot of information. And because of that, he, he takes fights and angles and he plays in different ways than he would with a rifle where playing standard just doesn't seem to fit his nature. Yeah. He always wants to do it a little bit different. He wants to do it his own way and that Boost in movement speed allows him to do such. Nothing to be ashamed of. We can't, you know, everyone wants to be the, the scream type one tapper because it looks cool, but MP9 is better than it's better. 55 seconds. He's going to be close. The Molotov is there. Going to be a little bit of an aid. And there's the jump around. <laughs> it's just Oof. so ridiculous. Oh, no. They're all stuck there. They have no map control, OG, outside of the center of the map right here. And there's three people on the catwalk on the other side. If they try to go through, this can actually end really, really badly for OG. And here we go. Simple with one. Boomich on the follow-up. He's baiting them. He's getting another headshot. But they will at least clear the corner. Bit, though. And Perfecto has an HE grenade. Alexi with the bomb. This is kind of bad. This HE can actually blow up the bomb plant. Alexi, I don't know if they want to throw it to someone else. That's hard to do in the middle of the fight. But I'm really worried about that one grenade. It's already been thrown. It hasn't killed anyone. There's the headshot, though, from Bit. And Alexi, he comes off the bomb. He doesn't want to continue. He's not sure if they're going to be jumping either. There's a little bit of a peek coming through. A missed opportunity for Mantu. He's ducking they down. Plant. Yeah, they're not oh. getting it. Oh, no. Two seconds left. And the round is... He couldn't risk going in the flames right there. He, there's, a, there's a chance he could have planted for Cat, but he, I guess he was scared of the, maybe the jumping shot or the flame yeah. spreading. There's a lot of reasons to be concerned in that moment. I think that jump shot, right, because if his, if his teammate in Mantu is on Catwalk and the jump shot comes through with 15 seconds left, he's done. Right, he's, yes. he can't really run onto the side and pick up the bomb with two people left alive. That's that's a hard way to lose a round because it was looking really good up until that point. They got the entries on Cat just how they've been wanting to. They go for it once again. Th this is OG's game plan for the last five rounds, getting Cat control every single time. Now that they have it in a cleaner fashion, they can just go for one of their standard execs, but. At this point, you would think that there's reason to consider going for maybe a mid to B instead, and just simply denying Navi this info would strengthen that play. Yeah, I mean, I feel like sometimes they actually can be like a benefit if you run it many, many times, because eventually the CTs also start to think they can't really keep doing this. But, um... Oh yeah, the B split would be awesome if they could, if they could find it at the right time and keep the A defense here. That would be really good. Smoke to set it up. Is he going to make the jump down? Flames. He looks like he's sort of thinking about it. Yeah. Tries to go for the dive, but actually, no. He cancels it. It looked like actually he was jumping. I was looking at the minimap there, and it looked like he took the jump. Simple. Taking down Flames. 20 seconds on the clock, and the bomb is following Alexi. Clean headshot. Simple's out of the round. Electronic, though. Second part of the duo on the bomb side. 13 seconds on the clock, and they're going to go for the bomb plant, and they'll get it this time. Three on three in the after plant. And again, look at the money for Navi. They don't have a lot of cash. They must be really, really careful. If they throw away these guns, then OG are right back in the round. Then it's Valda with the headshot, leaving Bit and Perfecto. And they might just want to save this. 
What a crazy round. Yeah, it came down to whether Boomich finds anything or not, but now now that he hasn't, Navi know that it's time to save. That was a, a great job for Montu to just hold the line right there. The the switch up in that round from Navi, putting electronic towards Goose, it caught one, but once he swings into that posted up online, Montu was able to take him out. It, great play from OG. Uh, once again, it, it's these cat plays are finding a lot of mileage, and it wasn't necessarily off the back of Flames finding an entry this time, but the trades were just on point for OG here. They they were, oh, that's, that's not gonna hurt either. Nice shot from Alexi. Yeah, you'd like to see that, don't you? And Boomich getting a bit isolated with the MP9, and that's the money. I have pistols on two of those players running out of the CT spawn. Perfecto, the only one heading to the B-bomb site. So, yeah, heavy lean to the A side of the map here for Na'Vi. Actually, Perfecto's in the middle now. Wow. This is a big switch up. This is maybe what Na'Vi needed. If it's the same kind of cat play again, this is when Navi would have found the stack. But they're second guessing it already. We can see Bit is already towards CT spawn, and Boomich isn't far away from him. And those positions indicate that Navi might be reading that this is a mid to B play. If Ooh, and it is. Oh, Flames is already out middle. Smoke is towards CT. Bit's right behind the smoke. That Molly will push Boomich off of his position. He has to now tuck into the smoke itself. And OG, they were stopped by a Molly. But this is going to be a lot of work for Perfecto in just a few moments. Yeah, he needs to at least stay alive for Nico. He needs his teammates to help him out. That's the bomb on the ground, though. Oh, oh. but uncomfortable. Perfecto gets a kill, and so does Boomich. See if he can get one more. He's finally going to go down. Nico late on that lurk in, but it was perfectly timed to get the kill. And that means it's a two on two. Simple has an M4A1. Electronic is coming mid to try and pick up another rifle, which surely is on the ground somewhere. And let's just see. They do not have a kit currently on anyone on the CT side, so if there's one on the ground, they need to find that for this retake to have some time at least. Val, they're gonna get the one kill, the follow-up tried. Electronic, he's not sure where the second player is. It's Nico shooting him in the back! And that is just... It's... It's uh, clairvoyance from Alexi B. Yeah, actually very impressive, isn't it? Speaking of which, Flames is ready for this kind of a push. He sees it coming. Now we only have pistols, and they do not want to lose the round to any kind of a wild flank coming out. They're out on long. Simple as a deagle, perfecto as a deagle. Both of them are quite far away from this long position at the moment. So they should be facing off against the USPs, and you have to favor them. Perfecto's finally made his way over. Perfecto is fine. OG at least look like they're going to get to map point here, and that will... That'll open up this whole game just a bit more for the Monet. Oh no, oh. boost is over and the bomb is is at least down. Did it fall back into middle? No, it's still up there on the bomb side. All right. Oh. Scary. Now it's uh, another kill as well. Flames does get dropped. Three versus four. This is becoming a very difficult situation to handle for OG. They don't have the utility to get the players out of these positions, nor smokes to stop them from pushing on forward, but that's one way to deal with it. Alexi B finds the opening to take down Perfecto. Electronic goes for the swing. A double dink from Electronic makes this a two-on-two -two situation, and Boomich is right beneath. He's looking for a gun, gets the Deagle, but it only has two bullets, and Electronic, if he finds another USP kill... Okay, Vault A1S. He's been unsilencing it. Just a... Just another point. I... Either way, either way, he's going to be looking for something towards long. This is a great hold from Boomish, though. Two kills, simple with the flash assist, and now Navi finally have some breathing room. OG really wanted to use that long spawn. It comes back to bite them, and Navi are in a prime position to get to number 14, but there's still a lot of round left to be played, and OG are making their way towards the weak side of the map, as there's only two on B. Well, they're already simple and electronic. They're actually moving into the middle, so it's only going to be weak for a short while longer here. Turning the corner and hoping to find someone. Mantu with the AWP staying scoped. He can't really change that now. They'll hear inside of the bomb site. There's a peek, and I think he just spotted it. Molotov's going to go deep bit. Oh, no! With the nade in hand, did they not know? Perfecto's going to be going down. What is happening? Navi, it seemed like they should have known. I'm, I'm sure he spotted him, but they both get caught off guard, and now it's a three-on-three three for the afterplant. Only a flashbang on Mantu. Not that much more on Navi either. 
They're gonna have to try and just see if they can retake it. No kit picked up on any one of them either. What do they do? Boomich flashes over the wall and they're gonna try and burst through the smoke. One goes down and now Simple has to try and recover it. It's not looking doable at all. He's on his own. One versus two and OG.